Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be talking about CyberTal and CTF. So basically CyberTal and CTF guys, I found out about them in the internet uh, by a referral from my friend and I found that they are running the CTF challenges for free. So you can participate, practice your skills for free. All you have to do, register an account, log in, and then you will see the challenges. So they have many uh they have a large number of challenges actually uh, categorized according to the uh, uh you know classification so i have cryptographic exploitation digital forensic network security malware reverse engineering web security all challenges so actually guys i think it is a gold mine you can just all you have to do go to cyber talents register and practice you don't need to download any vulnerable machine from vulnerable lab you don't need to go to uh, hack, uh, sorry, hack, hack, what's it called? Hack the box. Yes, you don't need to go there, uh, hustle with the, uh, have some kind of obstacles and uh, hustles with the uh, VPN to connect, you know, register, login. And for me, for example, I found out about this. So I wanted to try. So if you click on all challenges, click on practice now. Why is that? I'm becoming less patient day by day. I cannot wait. <laughs> so here I clicked on all the challenges and as you can see here, they are, I advise you not to do that. You can go back and you click on the category you wanted to practice. So for example, for me, when I tried this, I clicked on web security. And here you can see the challenge name, the categorization, and you can start solving it. Our main challenges actually. So let's say we clicked on that. And here you can see the guidance about the challenge. So here challenge name admin has the power, the category is web security, how many times people have tried to solve this? How many times it has been solved and the points you get once you uh, solve the challenge. Uh, so basically, guys, let's take an example and here's statistics about the challenge. I need to log in. Okay. Let's log in. So here, name. Hmm. Okay. So here's some statistics about the, uh, ge the, the geography from which people have tried to solve the challenge. You have many countries. And the leadership board, let's see here. So here is the leaders of this city of challenges. And my submissions here to list you the submissions that you have uh, done so far. So let's try to solve this and take an idea about this challenge. So let's click on that. It says administrators only has the power to see the flag. Can you be one? Let's click on this. It's basic web security challenge. So the first thing may pop up in your mind and it, it happened the same to me. <laughs> try to brute force the credentials. It's not the case. So we can go to, you know, all it's all city of challenges, right? The typical city of challenges about what? Guessing. So the first thing to guess, we go to view page source. We go down and we see here some hints, user support, passwords, whatsoever. So let's grab these uh, credentials. So here they are trying to have us log in as a regular user. And from there, we need to escalate our privilege like we do in Unix and Windows, right? So sign in. And we are support. Now it's saying we need to escalate our privilege in order to see the flag, right? So let's uh, follow our guessing uh, instinct and see what happens. So here, uh, there is nothing. Let me save time on you. So basically what we need to do, guys, we need, as with every web application challenge, we need some kind of HTTP interceptor, right? And for me, I like to use Perp Suite. So Perp Suite here, guys, I click on intercept is on. I go back, refresh the page, resend. Let's go back. 
So here is the typical, uh, you know, uh, HTTP request they have sent. And here you can see they have the, the session ID. And I have here an interesting clear text uh, parameter role, which is support. Now there's an event password, right? So if we have put the brute force option aside, right? And the only thing we need to look at is the session ID and the role support. And given the given the website we have or the page we have, there is there are no not, not such no, there, we don't have many options. There are no many options here, right? To go to try to you know uh, manipulate the session ID, uh, do as we as we do in the our the previous videos, right? With the PHP admin. But here, the interesting stuff here, I have role support, and I'm interested to find what does the admin have. So what I can do is replace support with admin. Now, if the web application we are dealing with is burnable and doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't validate the uh, input or the request coming from the user, it's going to take this as it is and display the corresponding page from the server side. Then I click on forward, and it's saying here, hi admin, the security flag is, hi admin, you have the power. Typical easy challenge, all you have to do is intercept the request and manipulate the parameters, the HTTP post parameters. And we go back here, we submit that, and we tell them, hey, we have, we got the flag. Okay, it says the solution is correct, okay. Now, as you can see, guys, we have many challenges, and they are all free. Okay, I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna put the uh, registration link in the description box of the video. You can click uh, on the link right away. Don't go to Google. Don't uh, try to find uh, the registration link in Google. Just click on the link in the description and register, and start practicing for free. Right. Uh, also, guys, there is something else I wanted to tell you about. Here, I found out something interesting. Um, where is this? I don't know. It is something, something uh, somewhere else. I don't know where. But uh, they they have the option if you want to host your CTF challenge in Cyber Talents, you can do that for free. So you can. Have your own challenges like these on the website, and then the guys they tell you, look, you can host your own challenges. We give you the infrastructure, and do that for free with your team. They call Security Club. Okay, guys. So for us now, we have solved one challenge. You can go ahead, as I told you, register, practice, and one last thing. If you got stuck, I think I am stuck now. Okay. <laughs> If you got stuck or if you're trying to solve one challenge and you got stuck, you can just send me a message on YouTube 